Thank you. I am past International Director Lion Wayne Hyman, and I'm proud to be serving as Alliance Pride Endowment Fund President. You know, one thing for sh we can say for sure is that 2020 and 2021 so far to date have certainly been different years. COVID-19 has changed everything, even how we're conducting district conventions. Did you ever think that we'd be saying this year's E1 convention would be being brought to you virtually? I didn't never thought about that. But I am, however, grateful for the opportunity to present and give an update on Lions Pride. Nonprofit organizations like Lions Pride have taken a hit during the pandemic, from having to cancel our biggest fundraiser in 2020, our Lions Pride shoot, to the cancellation or format changes of so many conventions, and districts having the same challenges with a slowing up stream of donations. Now, the pandemic has certainly crystallized and clarified our Alliance Pride purpose and the importance of achieving our goal. Now, a little over a year ago, we announced that we'd be sunsetting our campaign at the 2021 State Convention. And our goal was to reach $10 million by that time. Despite the pandemic, we have not abandoned that goal. You know, Helen Keller once said, abandon the road is not the end of the road unless you fail to make the turn. And Lions Pride intends to stay on the road, make that turn, and continue on. Now, many Lions are asking, well, what happens to Lions Pride after the State Convention 2021? Well, our Lions Pride Endowment Fund Board is still working out the exact details. The final plans are not completely set, but Lions Pride will still be an entity. We will no longer be soliciting clubs to the same extent we are now, but clubs will still be able to make donations to award Ray Hample Fellows, similar to the Birch Term Fellows. And the bulk of our donators are indeed individuals, and many of them are even non-Lions, and we know that they will continue to support Pride. We're in the process of putting everything in place that in individuals that have included Pride, for example, in their state plans will still have their gift deposited in the endowment fund with interest earnings going to the Wisconsin Lions Foundation and their designated project. Hmm, that's a thought. Lions Pride to my estate plans. Hmm, better explore that. The Lions Pride shoot will continue this year, and even if we have to do social distancing, and this year it will be held June 12th at Milford Hills Hunt Club. The successful events like the shoot need more than a date, time, and location. Lions Pride needs sponsors, promoters, shooters, door prizes, auction items, and volunteers. So please, if you have any interest in supplying any of these, contact the Lions Pride office. I'll repeat, Lions Pride is not going away. We are just adjusting how we will operate after the state convention in 2021. I hope this answers some of your questions ahead of time and quells any of your fears we are not going away. Now, of course, the Lions Pride Endowment Fund was established to be a significant source of income for Wisconsin Lions Foundation and supporting those statewide projects. And I say our Wisconsin Lions Foundation because we're all part of that. Now, especially when unforeseen circumstances and challenges arrive like COVID-19, and any other obligations or projects that still need funding. Now, with the support of Lions Clubs and those individual do donors, Lions Pride has already had a financial impact on WLF and its projects. At the September 2020 board meeting, I presented two checks from Lions Pride to WLF President Lion Mary Breeze, totaling $125,000. Now, we weren't done. Then in December, another $100,000 check was presented, taking the 2020 year total to $225,000. That's significant. But each of the two Lions Pride years, we've given $150,000 to WLF. So we are already making a difference. Now, since announcing Pride's sunset plans, we have received donations from 136 clubs during that time from the state and from 387 individuals, mounting to a little over $303,000. Our next question might be, well, where indeed is our fund at? As of December 31st, 2020, the Lions Pride Endowment Fund was at $9.8 million. Almost to our goal. We're getting closer, but we're not there yet. And our Pride Board and staff invite you to join us as we work to finish this journey. The, best, the investment you make will make all the difference today and for all the tomorrows. Of course, it's a gift that keeps on giving as we use only the earnings and interest from that principle. So it's like establishing a mini legacy for yourself because the funds keep on giving. You can designate which project again you want your donation to go to and those earnings with that. Now, when we reach our Alliance Pride $10 million goal, that'll allow us to provide more than $300,000 in perpetuity. Try to say that real fast, in perpetuity. That's a long time that Wisconsin Alliance Foundation supported Alliance Camp and all of our WLF projects. Now, I'd like to say there's still plenty of time to donate. Maybe a few months ago we could say that, but now between the D1 District Convention and the state convention, only two short months. 
So please help us attain our goal. Please be part of Alliance Pride family. If you've donated before, maybe you can squeeze out a little bit more. And perhaps you're one of those folks that will have some discretionary funds coming available, either through a tax refund or maybe one of those stimulus checks, who knows, that you uh, have some room to use your discretion where you want it to go. But think about it. In the end, we're really Alliance Pride family, Alliance family, helping those families that benefit from all the WLF projects. Now, what does the song say? I'm not a singer, but we are family. Uh, <laughs> so that's the best I can do there, folks. But Lions Pride, today's help, tomorrow's hope. Thank you again for the opportunity to present, update you on Lions Pride today. Please keep safe and stay healthy. Thank you. <laughs>